Are you a royal or are you not a royal? Indigenous-operated livestock stations have been under increased scrutiny follow following the deaths of hundreds of cattle in northern WA last year. It's prompted me to question the management practices and viability of such ventures. And while improvements are needed, there are some Indigenous stations proving good management and profitability are not only possible but necessary. At Roebuck Plains Station, they're charting a new future where cattle and conservation can run side by side. Here on Yaru land, Indigenous people are taking back the reins. It's our country and uh, we know uh, uh, about as good as anybody else the nature of what's required to run our business. Roebuck Station was owned by the Indigenous Land and Sea Corporation, but after the Yaru people established exclusive native title in 2006, it was handed over to traditional owners and is now leased by the ILSC. The property portfolio includes the increasingly busy Roebuck Export Depot. I spent the whole morning sorting out which cattle are ready to be sold and those that will go out onto the floodplain for a little bit longer. And now it's time to load them onto the truck. There's a type of camaraderie that's only forged through a hard day's work. We all learn from each other. We're not all best at everything. Yeah, it's a good feeling going back home to the station knowing that you've did a... Uh, a good hours, day's work, uh, at the end of the day, so a bit naked, but that's ringing life. He's not alone in his ambition to help the next generation. We can help the young fellows off the street, and otherwise, if we don't do that, we're going to die in race. Mick Bundy oversees cattle operations and will take on around six new trainees each year. The goal is to train them not just to work on Roebuck, but to go out to the hundreds of stations scattered across the Kimberley and Pilbara pastoral regions. Leith Barnes is chasing a career at the top. I want to be a station manager, really. That's it, yeah. That's probably anybody's dream, I think, eh? This is respected Indigenous leader Peter Yu's home, and his mantra is simple. Cultural values and protection of country doesn't have to come at the cost of profit or successful business. It has to provide uh, the returns uh, to support the livelihood. They're operating at a time, however, where Indigenous-run stations have come under increased scrutiny. After a 1,000 cattle died on three stations in northern WA last summer. There can always be uh, improvement in management. Um, and I think that's a, a, a challenge uh, for, for every one of us. What is perhaps most unique about this station is that alongside the 20,000 head of Brahmin and ringers rounding up cattle, you'll also see scientists and rangers going about the property, burning, monitoring and measuring. So we've got to fence it off this area. Roebuck is one of the first stations in the country that runs cattle on an Indigenous protected area. Hopefully it's a, um, you know, it'll be taken on um, by other Indigenous groups and look at how we achieve that. Whether it's conservation, cattle or culture, it's a new and promising path for the first people of the Kimberley on this vast pastoral estate. Christy O'Brien, ABC News, Roebuck Plains Station. Cryotherapy, high, high altitude rooms and compression boots.